What is the number one consideration for agencies when transitioning away from legacy IT networks? Well, I think that what uh, customers are looking for is an ease of migration path from legacy applications or legacy networks like TDM or digital networks moving over to a more resilient, more robust network like an IP backbone. So what they're looking for is an organization that can help seamlessly take them from their data uh, network technologies that they're using today to move to a more robust, resilient uh, network architecture. Yeah, and I would say, Don, that the, the other thing that we're seeing out there as well is, is that similar to what we've seen in the past on the cloud, they're, they're looking for uh, software-defined networks where they can have the ability to go in and procure a, uh, a latency or a throughput uh, based on some cyclical needs or based on some business activities that they've got going. So I think that you know, in the future we'll, we'll definitely start seeing over the next couple of years more SDN types of uh, technology and the uh, uh, similar the, uh, cloud benefits that we've seen uh, with hosting in the, in the procurement of network and the agility of network and in the flexibility of networks. What should agencies do to ensure that they are building an IT infrastructure for the future? I think that what organizations are looking for or what agencies are looking for in a modern IT infrastructure is an architecture and an infrastructure that has um, a lot of that future proofing built into it. What they're looking for is not just sinking in something where three years from now they have to upgrade their infrastructure. They want to be able to have something where it's already built in. What we've seen with organizations when they move towards the cloud, for example, they want to make sure that they don't get caught up in the day-to-day -day minutia of doing technology refreshes. The same also applies to the network. They want to be able to use something much like Tim was saying earlier with a SDN portal, for example, to be able to have a single pane of glass to be able to use that as their way to be able to communicate their network needs as well as being able to leverage their infrastructure needs. So that's what I'm seeing in terms of some of those elements for a modern IT infrastructure. Yeah, and I think in that uh, IT infrastructure, it's going to be more and more difficult to be able to separate the network from the uh, cloud. That, uh, Agreed. As, uh, as, as we stated, the uh, hybrid IT or hybrid hosting solutions are going to continue to evolve, and most agencies will have multiple types of cloud hosting solutions, whether it's colo, whether it's on-prem, whether it's private or public you're not going to be able to separate the network infrastructure and the network service that's going to be required to, uh, to support those, those hybrid hosting solutions. No, and I would agree. I mean, what we see a lot of the organizations and agencies that we work with, they tend to have a little bit of everything. So when they rush to be able to move towards the cloud, there's a lot of legacy applications that have to be put into consideration. There's a lot of infrastructure and other applications that they have and have to really look at a more holistic approach when they look towards moving to uh, modern IT infrastructure. Based on the way they have it in their current uh, data centers, in their current um, server rooms, may not cut it moving to an IT infrastructure that's more modernized. So one of the first steps that I think we need to be able to do with those agencies and those organizations is really sit down with them, look at something like um, do a planning session, do a strategy session with them, bring our best practices, bring our skill at network services, bring our skill at security services, bring our skill at infrastructure services, and really work with them to recommend the best approach when they make that move from their current environment to a more modern infrastructure. Where will the demands on the network be coming from in five to ten years and what does that mean for building a highly available, flexible and secure infrastructure? Well, where I think that the demands of the network will be is much like what has we've seen today in cloud computing. And people want to be able to use, much like they do today, a portal to be able to provision infrastructure services on an as-needed basis, uh, be able to respond on an on-demand capability. They want to be able to extend that from not only the infrastructure side, but all the way out to the network. 
Again, you know, people have been talking about using a single pane of glass to be able to make these modifications in their infrastructure. They're very used to it today. They want to be able to make that natural extension of that workplace environment of using a portal to extend from the infrastructure to its full capability of stretching out to the network as well. That's at least what I've been seeing. So again, more with respect to doing things from a software uh, SDN capability, have that just be the natural extension that they're used to through a portal, be able to make that same uh, network extension. Tim? Yeah, I, I think uh, the removal of the device versus uh, leveraging software, right? So um, oh. the, the, uh, the ability to be able to turn a switch and be able to increase your throughput via software as opposed to having to do a build or having to do an installation, uh, that, that's, that's where the network will change. As, uh, as you said, it's going to be very analogous to turning on and turning off uh, some compute power.